Hi, this is Michelle Vasquez, Relationship Coach. I help couples create passion that lasts a lifetime. I'm the author of a new book called Creating Happily Ever After, a marriage manual for what to do after the honeymoon is over. And you notice that I said creating happily ever after. Happily ever after is a myth. It doesn't exist. Not by itself. I have a workshop coming up in a couple of weeks. In fact, it's on June the 22nd, and there's more information in the box below. I call this workshop Stop Yelling at Me, Conflict Resolution Tips for the Weary Warriors. And the reason that I'm doing this workshop is because I deal with a lot of couples that are unhappy with the fact that they are constantly in conflict with each other. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a magic phrase or two that you could say that would help you to overcome and change the way that you're thinking in that very moment when you're in conflict? The thing is, there are things that you can do that will help you when you're in conflict with the one that you love. But one of the things that I'd like to tell you today is about shifting your mindset. Because a lot of times the things that aggravate you about the one that you love really don't have anything to do with that person's actions. They have more to do with the way that you perceive the behavior and the way that you respond to the behavior. Maybe those are old triggers from your childhood. And if that's the case, then work on that. That's one of the things that I help my couples do. And I also work with singles. And by that I mean I work with you if you're in a relationship, but you have a partner who just doesn't want to deal with it, so you want to work on it yourself. You can do a lot of work by yourself. And that's why I say that it always begins with you. Whether I'm working with you and your spouse or your significant other, or whether I'm just working with you alone, it all starts with you. But let's go back to that conflict. Your perception is what's creating a problem. Your reaction is what's creating a problem. It's not the fact that your partner is doing something that you don't like or don't agree with. It's how you are perceiving it. Because think about this. A lot of times when you're having a conflict with somebody, you're thinking, why are they doing this to me? Why do they do this to, to irritate me, to hurt me? Well, perhaps you're married to someone who's vicious and malicious, but perhaps you're not. Usually what happens, and, and think about this in the case of getting aggravated when you're on the road driving. It's really not that somebody is driving in an irritating way to irritate you. They're usually not doing it with you in mind at all. Most of what we do is about us. So when you think about it, when you're aggravated because, say, your spouse leaves socks on the floor, your spouse is not doing them thinking, I'm going to drop those socks there just to irritate my wife or my husband, whichever the case may be. Your spouse is just doing what your spouse does. And yes, you can make a request. Or you can decide, you know what, this isn't about me at all. These are just socks on the floor. There is no message here. There is no evil intention. It's just, this is how things are done by my spouse. Maybe I don't like it, but it ain't no big thing. And remember the book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff? And it's all small stuff. A lot of times if we can put a lot of things into another perspective, we're going to find that in reality things are not as bad as we think they are. A lot of times if we can just decide it's okay. This is my spouse's behavior. It has nothing to do with me. Yes, I can make a request that the socks be picked up and put away. Or I can pick up the socks myself, or I can leave them there and go, ah, no big deal. If I have a problem with obsessive compulsiveness and I'm a one of those cleaning type people that can't shut it down, then I still need to work on me. Because it really does come back to all being about me and my choices and what I'm going to choose to get ruffled over and what I'm going to choose to say, 
it ain't no big thing. So join me in my my workshop on June 22nd. Again, more information at the bottom of the screen. And if you're interested in signing up for one of my free uh, work, uh, what do you call them? Lost my train of thought there. One of my free reports please go to trueloverelationshipcoaching.com and there are several for you to choose from. I'd love to work with you more on dealing with these perspectives and yes, on being able to confront your spouse gently and effectively. And perhaps conf confrontation is not the right word, but there are plenty of ways to handle conflict in such a way that you get good results as opposed to going round and round and round and getting nowhere fast. Thank you for your attention. I'd love your comments in the box below. And I look forward to talking with you more soon. This has been Michelle Vasquez, Relationship Coach.